CSC Show Control Tutorial Part 6 Trim and Loop Audio Cues. So let's say uh, for this blackout scene, it's an unexpected blackout, but the director tells me uh, I need to move some stage scenery here, so we need to put a blackout in, and it's going to take a little bit of time. I really don't have music for it, so I'm going to go back through my files and say, all right, you know what, maybe I'll just use music from this one track here and just play it back in a different way. And I'll just edit it here on the fly so that I can use it. So I'm going to make sure I'm on Way Player 1. I'm going to select my happy track again right here. Bring that up. All right, then what I'm going to do is click up here on where it says Show Me the Waveform. And rather than play it back the exact same way it was earlier in the show, I'm going to start it here where it got loud. So I'm going to select, you can select anywhere along here. I'm going to select it here where it got loud and then go down here and say start from here. So you'll notice that this gets grayed out. So it's not going to play the first part of the waveform. It's just going to automatically start here. So that'll be my new starting point for the waveform. So when I play it back, I'll get this. I'll just stop that. Now if I want to, I can also shorten it. So I can go back in my waveform. I can go somewhere in here and then select end so it would only play that waveform to a certain place and then stop. Uh, we can do that and we can select an end. We can put a fade out time for that. Or what I can also do is just in scene four, in the next scene, I'll put in an audio control cue. So I'm going to do that. Uh, remember, I want to control wave one here. So I'm going to put in a fade out. I'm going to make it a quick fade of uh, three seconds. And I'm going to drop this down where it's going to be a totally fade out to negative 100. When you do that, that means that that will fade that out. So I've got my wave then starting where I want it to because I've adjusted it. And then I'm going to fade it out here. Let's see what we have. All right, let's say they're done moving the equipment. I fire my next cue, three second fade out, and it's gone, wave player one, and you see that it stopped. So that was an easy solution to that. Now let's say that this next scene also starts with some of its own music here, which is kind of a walkabout music. So the actor has to come out on stage and walk about. But again, we've got an issue here with the walkabout because there's not enough walkabout music. So first of all, let me get my walkabout music in here. I'm going to wave player two because we're using wave one. We've already got a command on there. So I'm going to go wave player two and I'm going to add in my playoff music, which is going to be more like my walkabout music here. Okay. Now, if I don't do anything, the playoff is going to overlap right on top of this fade out, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to tell this to wait for about three seconds just to make sure that this fade out is done before this starts up. So we should have that. Let's see if we have that. We'll start from back here. All right, scenery change is done. That's gonna fade out and then my playoff is waiting. All right, great, that sounds great. The fade worked perfectly, fade out, the music came in. But again, I've got an issue with this music here because I need more time for the actor to uh, walk around. So I'm going to select my wave two. I'm going to click on the look at waveform icon. I'm going to select the loop tab. Now, first of all, I want to select what kind of loop am I going to do? Is it going to be a loop until I give an exit command, which would be another control command? or just a set number of times. For the time being, I'm just going to do a set number of times. Now I have to figure out where I want my loop. So let me just do a little play here. I'm going to hit my space bar. Just listen to a little bit. Okay, I made a decision. I want this to beginning of the loop somewhere in here. Now I'm going to click this, which is going to be my beginning. And let's see. I want this to be the end of the loop here, so I'm going to click for the end here. Now, my play count is two. I can change that to as many. I'll make it four, which means that it's going to play this loop section a total of four times before it moves on to the rest of the queue. 
notice that this is now highlighted in white to show me that there's something happening like a loop is happening in here. Now I'm going to click here and we'll just do a playback for a minute. Third time. Now after the fourth time, it'll proceed on and play the rest of the cue. Fantastic. Okay, so I've given a little bit more time by looping the beginning of that cue. If you need to tweak the beginning and end of the loop, it's very, very easy to do. Here's my beginning. I can simply click on the down and up arrow here, and you'll notice that my green line, my beginning line is moving here. I'm just going to move this ahead to 16 a little bit. I'm going to move this back a little bit. And again, just by listening to this, I can hear what I'm going to have. Let me rewind back to the beginning here. Just back to the beginning and do a play here. Oh, that sounds better. My connection between the loops sounds much better. All right, so that's done. Then this cue will be ready to go. So we have our blackout music. Wave one is going to fade down. Then this playoff music will come in. It's going to loop four times at the beginning, then proceed on with the cue. That fades out, in comes my loop cue. Now notice during the loop, it keeps jumping back. So we don't get an exact timing here because it keeps jumping back. Now it should proceed and count down. But as you can see, something that would seemingly be very, very complex to execute becomes very, very easy with this program. And at any time that you need to go back in, you simply go back in, select that, select the waveform, go to the loop tab, and just change your parameters here, where the beginning is, where the end is, whatever you need to do. If you need to have it to loop more times, just change them, and it'll automatically change that for you.